What's up guys, Randall here from Crypto Love and today I have an episode for you about the ICO flip token, okay, from GameFlip. All right, they already have a working business model. So I'm bringing you this one telling you a little bit about more about it because I think it could be a potentially good ICO to take a look into. Now, before we get started, just want to say thank you to everyone subscribing. Thank you to everyone mashing on that like button and let's get started. So to begin with, taking a look at their website, tokensale.gameflip.com, you can take a look at this and they have a lot of information there. Now, recently they did just have some changes because of the drastic changes in the price of Bitcoin. Um, also, they recently just updated the uh, the hard cap on the ICO. So it's set at 30,000 Ethereum. Once they get that, it closes within 72 hours. And right now, they are already reaching their goal for the first phase of the ICO. The pre-sale already happened, sold out 112%. This first phase already at 100%. And no wonder it's selling out. You get a 25% bonus on it. But basically, what is the flip token? What is game flip? Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of a gamer. I mean, I'm not very good at it, but I do like to play video games. I've been playing since I was a kid. I still remember the day I got Super Mario, or no, what was it, Mario Brothers? I still remember the day I got the NES, the regular Nintendo, with 3D World Runner and Mario and Duck Hunt and all that fun stuff. Still remember that day. But how this is going to work, okay? Basically what happens is nowadays you go play games, you play Overwatch, you play Destiny, you play World of Warcraft, and you buy these things in games. And then you get really pissed off at Overwatch because you can't win a damn game, and you quit playing. I'm not talking from, maybe I am talking from personal experience. I don't know. But what happens with all the stuff you bought? Gone forever. But alas, not anymore. Now with uh, flip tokens, you will actually be able to trade that stuff on the game flip marketplace and then actually be able to use your money within different games and so it's not lost forever so that's a pretty cool concept now uh, why flip token will succeed well number one they have a lot of gaming experience some experts in the field some connections with big companies and I'll go into that shortly but you can take a look at their website you can look at this is what I just was discussing here with the problem where your stuff is locked up in individual games until the flip token comes around and then you can move them in between things. Now I should say the big thing to be concerned about this is can they get the integration with all the big gaming companies out there? Can they get them to use them so that they'll use a flip token? Because as with most ICOs, that's what it is. Can they get adoption in terms of what they're talking about? And I'll be honest, in the gaming marketplace, there is a lot of people talking about this. So a very overhyped and underdelivered ICO called Electronium, who is also talking about doing something like this too. Um, but you know, whoever gets user adoption, that's the one that's going to win. Now, the benefits of the flip token system. So you can own your digital goods. It's not like you buy them and then they're gone. You can transact instantly about fraud. Guys, what do I always say about why the blockchain is so awesome? Because it does away with fraud, okay? You can't like pretend to sell some, someone something and then not. You either sell it or you don't. With Ethereum smart contracts, that's how it's done. Also, okay, like I said, getting the game publishers to adopt this system is going to be big and that's part of what they're planning to do with some of the, the flip tokens. Uh, I think about 40% of them are going to be saved to help incentivize game publishers because we want them to be doing that so then we can have the whole flip token work in the atmosphere. And then they'll have free and open source software development kits. So all types of people can do it. Now, what I mentioned before, this 40% right there, that's the network growth. That's what they're going to be using to help incentivize game publishers to use a flip token. The, uh, where is it? The token sale is here, 43.2%, and then the rest is going to advisors, partners, and game flip. Now it should be noted that they are going to take a long time to pay out the advisors, the partners, and everything. So they can't pump and dump it. They're gonna to have to hodl it for a while. So that's a good thing to do. Another thing that I wanted to mention that could be interesting, and I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but I just wanna give it to you all right now because a lot of you don't watch all my videos, even though you should because I get better and better as the video goes on. But uh, they are going to start accepting flip tokens on their website, gameflip.com, within three months. So this is going to be a transactional currency usable within three months. That makes it very exciting. Because a lot of things, like I remember I reviewed one not too long ago, Bankhara, where you have your stuff locked up for years. 
why have it locked up for years? Why not have it already working in a few months? So another thing that's cool. Now for you guys interested in it, here's the numbers for the token main sale. So from December 4th to the 18th, they have a 25% bonus, and then a 15%, 10%, and then zero. But like I said, once they're at 30,000 Ethereum, they're closing the token sale, and that is it. I should also mention I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research, ICOs, all cryptocurrencies. Everything in the world is inherently risky. Even buying coffee from McDonald's, inherently risky. You could spill it on yourself and, yeah, burn yourself. So, very risky. But, okay, the team here. So, most of the team comes from Area Games, okay? They built up a $100 million plus gaming company called Area Games. They all work together, so they already have the team building stuff together, and then they sold it. I think that was a few years ago, but once they sold it, they started working on GameFlip, and GameFlip is actually a working company right now. I mean, what do I say, guys? I say success leaves clues. You have a successful business once, you can do it again, 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 again. So success leaves clues. Uh, this GameFlip platform, what they have, they're already trading, selling different types of extras that you get from video games on here and you can go take a look at this website it's pretty interesting i even looked at the number of people who are going to this website and it's over two million people per month so there's a lot of people visiting this website to go do this stuff but they have stuff for games like rocket mm -hmm. league like pokemon like madden like fifa like world of warcraft like runescape final fantasy so all these different things and i'm sure there's probably only going to be more games as they go because like i said they have that portion to incentivize game publishers <laughs> So there's the team there. Okay, advisors. This is important. Check this out. Okay, so here they have Richard Melman, who is involved with EA Sports. Okay, I'll just show you guys in case you don't know. Gigantic gaming company. Let's see another one. We have Kotaro Yamagishi, founder of Gree, another big gaming company. All right. And then we have Heiko Huberts. With Big Point, another big gaming company. So they already have these advisors working with big companies, potentially partnerships with big gaming companies. So hopefully they can get the flip token integrated with those gaming companies. And then they also have some investors. So they have a lot of people behind them. Now, the roadmap, it's already founded. It's a Game Flip is a company that's been around for a while. They're now trying to tokenize it to be able to use a token uh, on, with Ethereum smart contracts, helps with payments, helps with integration, all that different stuff. They have digital goods being sold on their marketplace. All right, now they have the pre-sale, we they have the ICO sale, and then within a few months, we could see Flip as a payment method on the Game Flip marketplace. That is cool, guys, believe me. Uh, also, they have some other stuff coming up there. Now, let's go into the rest of the things. First thing I noticed, if you guys take a look at this logo, I saw that and I thought, hmm, looks kind of familiar to me. I remember playing that game growing up, right? But I'm not sure if we can mention that game. But yeah, it looks very cool. All right. Like I said, they're all involved with Area Games. They, they're not anymore. They One of their advisors is the current CEO of Area Games. But they have a successful gaming company. They know what they're doing with gaming. JT Nguyen, I can't pronounce it. Yeah, JT he, yeah, built up some crazy companies. I mean, built up some huge companies. So he was CEO, he CEO of GameFlip. He was uh, COO of Area and worked for some other big companies. So he's got all that going for him. And a young fella too, you know? But I showed you the website. I showed you all the other stuff they're involved with. And now let's go on to some other stuff. So guys, what do I say? Anytime before you want to invest in an ICO, in a cryptocurrency, in anything... Read the darn white paper. Come on. You guys ask all the time how I know stuff because I read white papers. It literally takes like 15 minutes to half an hour. You read the darn thing. You figure out everything. And a lot of times you can learn stuff. I learned some stuff here. It's pretty interesting. Let's see. We can go through kind of quickly. Let's see what stands out. Okay, guys. Just to give you an idea, take a look here at their quarterly sales increases over the past two years so they have they are a growing company and they're going to be implementing this token inside of their company inside of that uh ecosystem so with a growing company them using the token in that ecosystem most likely the token is going to grow along with it 
It is an Ethereum token, an ERC-20 token. However, they do mention in the uh, white paper that they do recognize the limits of Ethereum. I mean, everything can't be on the Ethereum blockchain as we've seen with CryptoKitties. It just can't handle it at this moment. So they're going to have the contracts on Ethereum, but they have other off-chain solutions for getting the games out, doing things like that. And also, guys, another thing that I saw in here that I found just kind of mind-boggling, all right, is that this is kind of, in using the flip token for being able to pass these, uh, these gaming assets back and forth, this is like a way to create wealth almost out of nowhere. It's kind of mind-boggling. Like, if you take a look here, these gamer earned digital goods, all right, these two here, in CSGO, uh, this... Doppler skin sold for $23,850. In Dota 2, a pink ethereal flame war dog sold for $38,000. So those are things that people were playing the game. They probably had to complete a whole bunch of stuff. But then by doing that, they were creating they were creating uh, these assets that they could later sell. And so that's something that for gamers out there, people who want to spend the day on the couch, playing games, eating chips doing all that stuff, you actually can create wealth doing that and be rewarded with the flip token. Now guys, if you are interested in this token sale, head over to tokensale.gameflip.com. Like I said, they have rewards right now, 25% bonus now, it'll be decreasing over time. Um, also, like I said, ICOs, cryptocurrencies, everything, it's all risky, do your research, all right? I think this one could potentially do pretty well, but I'm no expert either, okay? Uh, so do your own research, do your own things. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not responsible for you. And lastly, if you've made it all the way to the end of this episode, I just want to say thank you guys for hanging around. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for mashing on the like button. You guys who make it to the end are my favorite anyways. And I will catch you guys next time. All right? Peace. And one more thing, if you guys want to get access to the videos as soon as they're made and not have to wait until they're posted automatically on YouTube at 5 p.m. every day, go to crypto-love.com slash early access, sign up there, and you'll get an email with a link to the videos immediately after I make them. You might find out what I'm saying before other people. Pretty crazy, right? So go ahead, sign up there, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace.